Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now up 52. Nasdaq's up 32. S&Ps are up 8. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday and Thursday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. The way you get the opening call, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters, the opening call, right on the right-hand side. You hit the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month, six months, or a year. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Great newsletter, great radio program each and every day. Check it out right at TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, just starting to get used to the fact that it's getting cold weather again. Ooh. So that's the way it is. Cold weather. And it's 80 to see. We're loving it now. Now it's, it's 81 degrees here. This is like so heaven this is, for us. This is your perfect weather, this right? Is, this is it. From now until May, it's like, oh, my God. You can't believe it. <laughs> and this, we needed this break. Now, it was interesting, Basil. Last year, we really didn't get a good break until December. And that's like way too long, meaning the 85 to 88. But right. it's 81. It's going to be 79 next week. So it's just like it, it, it makes a difference when you guys you guys got to get a little cold and then we do, too. You know, so it's interesting how it works. Enjoy the weather. Yes. <laughs> Come on down, man. Come on Come down. Come on down. Right. Bring that tennis racket. Totally. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Okay. So uh, yeah, today will probably be the last outdoor tennis that I'll be having for quite a while. Ooh. So uh, we're looking at the Dow. Dow's at 54 right now, 27,056. So there are patterns that we're talking about. When we last spoke, I said for subscribers to my opening call, we, we started to raise some cash because we, we're looking at a kind of a sideways, very mixed market, very selective with a lot of stocks that should be doing well that are really not doing that well. I spoke about the FANG stocks. That's Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and uh, Google, Alphabet. And um, only Alphabet went close to its all-time high. So this is what we look, oh, actually went to an all-time high. But the others are really lagging. So um, we we, we're all long right now in the Dow. We're anticipating. <coughs> Let me just do this so I can show the pattern that we're always looking for here in the Chapman Wave. We're always looking for the lowest, most identifiable low bar, and then you merely start a count of each successively higher peak. I alphabetize them. They can go all the way to a G, but the fourth highest peak. Peak D is where other things can happen. And we've seen how many times that occurs where we get a really sharp sell-off at that peak D. Or it could recycle up. And the patterns I'm looking at just straight down, straight up, or the arch pattern, the cup pattern, or you can get a combination. That is like that lowercase h or the reverse Y. Now, why do I show those patterns? Because look, look what's happening right here. We've got that peak D uh, doji candle on the, uh, tw that was the 12th of September, 27,306, come plunging down to the 25,743 level. We were very fortunate to be short there. We, we, uh, we're actually now long waiting for this leg D. So I just said that when you get to that peak C in a Chapman Wave buy signal to buy mode, once you go to a buy mode, it implies that you should get at least four higher peaks. Well, we missed it by nine points today. 27,120 was the high on the, that was just three days on the 15th. Today's high is 27,112. Uh, so that's 112. Yeah. So we're, we're, we just need nine points to make that leg D. Now, why don't I make a big deal? about it is because the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence is good. Stochastic's good at 88%. But I haven't really seen real strength in the in the Dow. So I, when I get to this leg D, I'm really watching it closely because as, I, as you saw right here on the left side, we saw this in July and we saw this in September. At that peak D, we started to sh uh, pull back very sharply. But the big deal is that I was waiting for the S&P which has gone to a leg D today. I was waiting for the QQQ uh, right here. It's in leg D. And it's because of IBM, which uh, IBM took uh, quite a hit today. It's down, oh, my, it's even worse. It's minus 8 at 134. Uh, and there's your peak D right there on the on the uh, 1st of October. It goes to 147.35, fourth highest peak. And look at that sharp sell-off. And the weekly is at a D. So I'm anticipating that this 
kind of corrective move that we've been in, even though it's on the way up, is really a continuation. Let me just go back to the Dow to show. It's really a continuation of the sideways trading range. And there's a technique that I use called the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And we're right here in the weekly chart. So that can take you all the way to about 27,180. If you see a trade, if, if the Dow starts to break above 27,306, that's going to be very good because it'll be the first time that we're breaking this resistance level. So we'll remain uh, a Long on the Dow, we might start to take a little bit off after we get that leg D. That, that's how we're playing it. But also, you remember I spoke to you that we've been long Bank of America for quite some time. Here again, you got that peak D around number 30 open on the 13th of September. 30.32 was the high that day. Pulls back sharply to a trend line support at 27.16. And now it's in leg C, probably a peak C today at 37.22. I think it will go to a D. Here again, you're looking at that weekly chart with that resistance uh, inside track repellent zone. So it's going to be very important. We're in from the 24 area. Here it is at 30, so it's doing very nicely. And um, we'd spoken about the dollar for ages. And I said, yeah, I'm getting a little cautious because we've got all these Ds in the daily, the weekly, and, and the monthly. I think that the dollar could have one of the deeper pullbacks. And I think that's going to unfold. And you can see we've gone from 99.46 on the 1st of October at peak D. We're right down to the 97.63, almost at the 200 period moving average. And the weekly chart has made a peak D. So this is in a sell mode. Um, the week, the monthly chart is still in a buy mode, and that's still very good, but it's in leg D. So I'm watching that closely. But to go with that, I've been saying to subscribers, we've been, we were at one point very positive on a, on a, um, an I, this is an ETN. This is really a, playing the grains because the grains were looking very good, and we did very nicely. Then we were out of it, but now we're back in because look at wheat. Wheat is look at this big move in wheat. It's just broken out again. Look at soybeans. So that's the reason. And here's a peak E, but it's holding very nicely. And you've got corn also holding very nicely after a very big move. So my suspicion is that because of the weakness in the dollar, maybe now we can see some kind of a rally in the, in the grains that actually impacts uh, the um, the composite ETN that I, that we have that we back long. And I, I think that we're looking at something a little different now. I said last week, I think we're in for some kind of a change because if you look at the euro, this is probably one of the better moves we've seen in the euro on a technical basis. Price-wise has done this before, but on a technical basis, this is a little bit better than we've seen before. So I think this is a counter-trend rally in the euro. And I think the dollar is going to continue digesting its gains for a while. Then I think the dollar actually comes back strong. So that's that's the, the outlook that we have. Um, I think that this is where we've got to be looking very carefully at the SMHs there, the earnings reports coming up very soon with the semiconductors. They're at all-time highs. Do they hold? Do they break out? What do they do? A lot of clues, a lot of very mixed market. We're playing it as a mixed market. And folks, real easy to get Bowser's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into it. Newsletters, you'll see it for a month for $128, six months $5.95, a year for $9.95, 30 day money back guarantee. Bowser, have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You Thank too. you. Stay right there. For